whatever you care about the most, whatever you think will save you the most when it gets taken away, there's an opportunity for true growth. And the most common one, you know, that society is really chasing is that validation, that approval. And that is something that personally ran me for most of my life. I was so obsessed to the point where you could even argue I was obsessed you know, more than most where I was always micromanaging well, yeah, everyone's and, and perception. By the, way, it's, you know? it's the irony because that you were doing so well at it yeah. that makes it so seductive. So that's the thing, yeah, I, I became extremely paranoid. Like, okay, what are people thinking? How can I, you know, do this to skew the perception so they perceive me in this good way, so they perceive me like that? How do I maintain it? And I was actually pretty good, right? Pretty damn good. And I thought it would work and I've doubled down, doubled down. Didn't work, never worked, but I was stubborn, eh? And then what happened? That thing got taken away. Not in a subtle way, but in the harshest way. And I've talked about this in many videos, going through that scandal where half the world or more disapproved of me. So you lose that validation completely, just ripped away the thing literally worse than my worst nightmare. Mm -hmm. Like I couldn't way, even imagine clear, something so bad. That can happen to us again at any time. Yeah. When we say, oh, that thing that happened as if it's over. It's never happened again. 100%, yeah. that or more. Gone, all that validation gone. And I've talked about this too. That was actually the most freeing moment, you know? That worst case scenario was the scenario that changed everything for me and that allowed me to move up and created the opening for a much lighter way of being. On a smaller level, you'll even see it where, you know, say you're really attached to the approval of someone. You might be in a, a mall like this. You're like, oh, what are people thinking? And you do something that's a little silly, a little out there. Like you might stop and do a push up or like, oh, I'm just like scream really loud and people are staring like, what? And just because you kind of destroyed that image of cool your ego is hanging onto in your mind, you think it's the end. You're like, oh my God, this is horrible, but it ends up being very freeing. I would even make clients do this sometimes. Like say they're very stifled. I'm like, hey, do a push up, do a push up. They're like, no, my ego, people will disapprove of me. They'll think mm -hmm. I'm stupid, do it. And as soon as they did it, there was a freedom there.